Sticky scroll has been a common design pattern in the web and mobile design world for years. But how do we recreate this great effect inside of Figma? Well, in this video, you'll see exactly how it's done in under four minutes. Now, let's go. All right, so the first thing we wanna do as we set up sticky scroll inside of Figma is to configure our parent frame. And when I say parent frame, I mean the outermost frame that you have. It could be a desktop frame, it could be a mobile frame, whatever you have as a prototype, the outermost frame, in my case, this frame is the one we target. So I go to this frame, I click prototype in the top right, I go to overflow here and change it to vertical. From the beginning, by default, it's gonna be no scrolling, but we change it to vertical. So that's the first step. Then as that's done, I grab this frame again, like this, and I go to the second step. Now it's time to configure our sticky frame. So the things we actually want to be sticky within this prototype. So what I do is I target the layers I want to be sticky and we can go one by one here. So for example, this text here, I want to be sticky. So I would target this and I make sure that I have an auto layout wrapped around it. And inside of my auto layout, I can either set a padding in the top here, like this. Now this distance here is gonna act as the buffer to the top of my frame. So as I scroll, we will have this distance to the top when it locks in and starts scrolling with the frame. I could do it this way, adding padding. I could also, remove the padding, click here, do fixed height and set a fixed number. And then I would place my text at the bottom here. And now I have a fixed number instead. And I kind of like this option more because I have more control over the pixels. So I would do this for the text here. I would do the same for this button here. So let's go here, change the height to 560, place it in the bottom. And the reason I'm using 560 instead of 400, as I did for the text here, is because I want the button to end up below the text. So I set 160 pixels more for this. I will do the same for this image to 560, place it in the bottom, and that's it for the padding. Now, the last and the most important step, of course, is to go into each and every one of these. So the button, the text, and the image here, go to prototype settings and change the position here from scroll to sticky. Now, as I duplicate this frame again, take it over here, I change the height of it to 900. Now, if I go to prototype and add a flow starting point, I click play, as I scroll, you can see this sticks to the screen. It has the padding that we added. And as we come to the bottom, this sticks and it has the padding to the top as we set it. If you want to enrich your Figma prototypes with even more cool tricks and animations, check out this playlist. Now, until the next one, have a great life. We'll talk soon. Ciao.